next thing you want to look at is rhythm. The most important thing here is to find the P wave. In a normal heart, the sinus node is a pacemaker of the heart, and the sinus node sits in the top part of the right atrium. And don't forget, anything towards the lead is positive, and anything away from the lead is negative. So now that we learned that dance earlier, we're able to know where all the leads are, and now we can figure out where the depolarization is coming from. So when you're looking for sinus rhythm, I want you to specifically look in three leads. One, two, and AVA. Normal depolarization of the atria should give you a positive and upright P wave in one, a positive and upright P wave in two, and a positive upright P wave in AVA. So lead one is our left arm straight out. The sinus node depolarizes towards that, which gives us a positive P wave in lead one. And these P waves are upright. So lead two is our left foot. Sinus node sits on top of the right atria depolarizes down towards lead 2, giving us upright P waves in lead 2. Depolarization towards AVF is going to be positive, giving upright P waves in AVF. Now you're so confident in sinus rhythm, there's one more thing you can do. Check out lead AVR. should be negative in AVR. Depolarization away from AVR is going to be negative. Negative P wave. Negative P wave. One thing that sinus rhythm isn't is a P wave before every QRS. The sinus node has nothing to do with conduction of the heart, more so pacemaking of the heart. Even in a situation like complete heart block or a winky block, the sinus node is functioning properly. It's just there's a disease in the conduction system of the heart. So here's an example. It looks like the P waves are negative in two, also negative in all the inferior leads, negative in two and negative in AVF. But it does look positive in V1. So we have 2, 3, and AVF. We know that the depolarization is going away from the inferior leads and towards V1. This is an example of 2 to 1 typical atrial flutter. But just by knowing where all the leads are, if you see a P wave, you can determine where the pacemaker of the heart is actually coming from based on the positivity and negativity of the P waves in each particular lead.